Alright, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day in this video. A big congratulations to the 100 community pools that received support from IOG. Also, taking a look at native tokens, users will soon be able to create their own on-chain tokens for transactions on Cardano. One of the biggest use cases of something like this is going to be DeFi. I wanted to share some thoughts on what we're seeing currently with DeFi, taking a look at some of the applications being built that are currently on Ethereum and what that might look like on Cardano in the next few months. And last up, if you all stay till the very end, taking a look at a price chart for Cardano USD. Where are we now and where could we be heading in the very near future? So lots of exciting things to talk about here today. All of that coming up right after our sponsor. Our sponsor for today's video is Zelda Stake Pool. Grow your wealth with Zelda Stake Pool from Japan. Zelda Stake Pool has just recently decreased their margin from 2.5% to 1.5%, as well as increasing their pledge from 100,000 ADA to 250,000 ADA. So doing what it takes to bring in the best rewards possible for their delegators. They've been minting blocks consistently and have been bringing in some nice rewards for all of their delegators. So if you are looking for a committed stake pool to grow your ADA, be sure to check out Zelda Stake Pool, ticker Z-E-L-D-A. Thank you so much to Zelda Stake Pool for sponsoring today's video. So to get things started, a big congratulations to the 100 community pools that received the first round of delegation support from IOG. This is in an effort to help decentralize the Cardano ecosystem. Essentially what IOG did was they have selected 100 stake pools and they will continue to do so each quarter. And they're looking to help support purpose and mission driven stake pools. Around about 3.2 million is what I saw with this current delegation. So really nice to see this. I took a look at the stake pools that did receive this delegation and I see a lot of familiar names here. So if you did receive this delegation from IOG, big congratulations, shout out to you. I see Hotel Ginebra. We got a chance to speak with Alfred on the Hotel Cardano podcast, really enjoyed that. We've got the Ad Astra Stake Pool. Nice to see some YouTubers getting some love. So really cool to see this. If you guys are interested in checking out all the stake pools that did get selected, be sure to check out adapools.org. I will be sure to leave a link for you all down in the description below. Next up, I wanted to take a look at native tokens. So very highly anticipated, the Mary Hard Fork Combinator is going to be the network upgrade for Cardano that's gonna bring about native assets, allowing users to mint their own tokens on Cardano. Now, essentially with this network upgrade, they're gonna be rolled out just like how we've seen previously. Back when we went from Byron to Shelley, the technology that was implemented was the Hard Fork Combinator. Normally when you think about a hard fork, you think about something that is bad for the network, you have a split in the chain. Well, in the case of Cardano, being able to upgrade the protocol, they've done a great job with coming up the technology that allows for the seamless transition to allow for these network upgrades. The hard fork combinator allows the Cardano blockchain to combine protocols without triggering any type of disruptions in the blockchain. And very importantly, it maintains the history of the previous blocks. So that is how we're going to see all of these network upgrades happening as opposed to a split in the chain or a fork. The hard fork combinator allows for a seamless transition. With this upgrade, it's going to take Cardano one step closer to seeing its ultimate destination, which is true decentralization and scalability, utility, and sustainable governance. And each stage will use the Combinator as a tried and tested technology. So really nice to see that. I know that what they're doing right now, they've implemented the Mary Hard Fork Combinator already on the testnet. Now what they're doing is cleaning up everything on the back end to be able to roll it over when we're ready for mainnet. They are now finalizing the integration of the completed wallet backend with the metadata registry and the Rosetta API. Now I've heard quite a bit about Rosetta API, so what is it exactly? Now it's referred to in this article as a common interface for exchanges to interact with the Cardano blockchain. So I had to do a little bit more digging to learn more about it. A Rosetta API is an open source specification and set of tools developed by Coinbase, making integration with blockchain simpler, faster, and more reliable by establishing a standard API for integrating blockchain applications. So when I think of Rosetta API, my brain automatically goes to Coinbase. 
what they're doing is they're using this framework to integrate blockchain applications. So Mary Hardfork Combinator tentatively expected on February 22nd. With this network upgrade, they will unlock the mechanism for users to create their own tokens. One of the most prominent use cases for a feature like this is gonna be DeFi. So I wanted to take a look at what we're seeing right now. Here we have DeFi Pulse showing us some of the most prominent players as it comes to DeFi. Currently, all of these applications are built on the Ethereum blockchain. But with Cardano, looking forward to things such as the ERC-20 converter and a full Gogan release, could Cardano start to step in and grab some of this market share from Ethereum? So just to take a look at the value locked, we're sitting at just over $28 billion locked up in DeFi. We can see this chart shows us that the trend for DeFi is not slowing down at all. So there is a tremendous use case and a tremendous value proposition behind having a decentralized permissionless way to generate capital using these decentralized protocols. If we see here Maker, Aave, and Compound, the top three as it comes to amount of dollars locked in the protocol, sitting at just about six, five, and four billion dollars respectively. So there is a lot of value that's on the table as it comes to porting some of these applications over to a more scalable blockchain. I just wanted to put things into perspective. Taking a look at the overall markets, we can see right now Cardano sitting at just above 44 cents with a current market cap of just under $14 billion. And if we take a look at Ethereum, above $186 billion. So the disparity there is incredible. I think Cardano has a lot of potential as it comes to absorbing some of the market share from Ethereum as it comes to some of these DeFi protocols. And just to hit the nail on the head, we saw today from Cointelegraph, Ethereum gas fees hit an all-time high of $17.50 per transaction. I know a lot of you have seen much higher transaction fees than that. I know myself personally. It's almost like you feel kind of dirty when you submit a transaction on Ethereum. But this forced a Japanese crypto exchange to halt all Ethereum withdrawals. Will ETH2 be able to solve this in time? So even though Ethereum had that first mover advantage, it's looking like the tortoise is catching up to the hare in the race. And last up, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, giving you all my thoughts on what we're looking at right now on the price chart for ADA USD. So here we have the weekly time frame. We can see where we are right now. We are right at that 44 cent level. So keeping things very simple with this charting, we're just looking at some resistance levels from the past. Right now, we are at that level. I would hope to see with all the fundamentals happening, if we are able to sustain this price momentum, if we're able to come back to this level and test it as support, I think it's gonna be very healthy for our next leg higher. And if we look back to the past, we see that there is not much resistance from where we are currently to our previous all-time high, putting at right around $1.40. So really interesting to see what's happening on the chart, especially with the longer term timeframes. RSI definitely in overbought territory. So cautiously optimistic as far as price, I would like to see us be able to hold this 44 cent level as support before our next leg higher. So guys, let me know what you all think. If you all are holding Cardano and excited about everything that's happening, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you all. If you enjoyed this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. And if you want to stay up to date with Cardano content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.